It's 1940. Europe is engulfed in turmoil, and the world watches with bated breath. Dark clouds hang over Europe, casting long, ominous shadows over the continent. The air is thick with tension and uncertainty. The threat of war looms over Britain, a nation bracing itself for the storm that is about to break. Civilians prepare, their faces etched with worry and determination. Nazi Germany, led by the charismatic and ruthless Adolf Hitler, has unleashed its formidable air force, the Luftwaffe. The skies are filled with the roar of engines and the ominous hum of impending conflict. Their target? The heart of the British Empire. The Luftwaffe's Heinkel He 111 bombers, sleek and deadly, are a serious threat to Britain's survival. These bombers, with their twin engines and deadly payloads, are designed to bring devastation from the skies. As these twin-engine planes carrying deadly bombs approach, the danger to Britain becomes palpable. The survival of the nation hangs in the balance. Hope seems small against the might of the Luftwaffe. The bombers cast long shadows over British cities, leaving destruction in their wake. But amidst the despair, a new sound emerges, a sound that will become synonymous with hope and defiance. It's the roar of a Merlin engine, a powerful and defiant sound that cuts through the gloom. This engine, a marvel of engineering, powers a new hope for Britain. It's the Supermarine Spitfire, a fighter plane destined to become a legend. With its sleek design and incredible agility, the Spitfire is a symbol of British resilience. The Spitfire, with its sleek design and amazing ability to move quickly, becomes Britain's main defense. Its agility and speed make it a formidable opponent in the skies. Its ability to climb fast and incredible 2,500 feet every minute is really important. This rapid ascent allows it to engage enemy bombers swiftly and effectively. This amazing plane designed by brilliant British engineers is ready to face the Luftwaffe. The Spitfire's design and performance are a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The Battle of Britain is about to begin, a fight that will change history forever. British pilots, young and brave, prepare to take to the skies in their Spitfires. The Spitfire against all odds will take to the skies to defend its home, becoming a famous part of aviation history. The courage and skill of its pilots combined with the Spitfire's capabilities will turn the tide of the war. As the Battle of Britain unfolds, the Spitfire's legend grows. It becomes a symbol of hope and defiance, a beacon of light in the darkest of times. The story of the Spitfire is not just about a plane, but about the spirit of a nation determined to fight for its freedom. Every amazing invention comes from a brilliant idea. These ideas often start as a spark in the mind of a visionary, someone who sees beyond the present and imagines what could be. They are the dreamers and the doers, the ones who push the boundaries of what is possible. Their creations can change the course of history, and their legacies live on through the innovations they bring to life. The Spitfire is no different. This iconic aircraft, known for its speed, agility, and distinctive elliptical wings became a symbol of hope and resilience during one of the darkest times in history. It wasn't just a plane, it was a marvel of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. It was created thanks to one man, Reginald Joseph Mitchell, or R.J. Mitchell. Born in 1895, Mitchell was a visionary aeronautical engineer whose passion for flight and innovation led him to design one of the most famous fighter planes in history. His journey was one of relentless pursuit of perfection, driven by a deep love for aviation and a desire to push the limits of what was possible. He was a brilliant engineer who loved airplanes. From a young age, Mitchell was fascinated by the mechanics of flight. He spent countless hours studying the principles of aerodynamics and experimenting with different designs. His dedication and passion for aviation were evident in every project he undertook. Mitchell's journey started long before World War II, in the 1920s and 1930s he worked on various aircraft designs, each one more advanced than the last. His early work laid the foundation for the revolutionary designs that would come later. He was constantly pushing the envelope, always looking for ways to improve performance and efficiency. Mitchell's early work on the Supermarine S-5 seaplane paved the way for the Spitfire's revolutionary design. The S-5 was a sleek, high-speed racing seaplane that showcased Mitchell's talent for aerodynamics and innovative design. It was a significant achievement that demonstrated his ability to create aircraft that were not only fast but also highly maneuverable. The S.5, a sleek racing seaplane, helped Britain win the famous Schneider Trophy air races. These races were a prestigious competition that attracted the best aircraft designers and pilots from around the world. 
Winning the Schneider Trophy was a testament to Mitchell's skill and ingenuity, and it brought him international recognition. These races taught Mitchell a lot about aerodynamics and how to fly at high speeds. He learned valuable lessons about the importance of streamlining and reducing drag, which would later be crucial in the design of the Spitfire. The experience gained from the Schneider Trophy races was instrumental in shaping Mitchell's approach to aircraft design. Mitchell used what he learned from the S-5 to create a new kind of fighter plane. He envisioned an aircraft that combined speed, agility and firepower, capable of outmaneuvering any enemy. His goal was to design a plane that could dominate the skies and provide a significant advantage in aerial combat. He imagined a plane that was not only fast but also easy to maneuver, able to outfly any enemy. The Spitfire's distinctive elliptical wings were a key feature that contributed to its exceptional performance. These wings allowed for greater lift and reduced drag, making the Spitfire incredibly agile and responsive in the air. He knew a true warplane needed more than just parts. It required a harmonious blend of form and function, where every component worked together seamlessly to create a machine that was greater than the sum of its parts. Mitchell's attention to detail and commitment to excellence were evident in every aspect of the Spitfire's design. It had to be a perfect mix of form and function. Mitchell's meticulous approach ensured that the Spitfire was not only a formidable fighter plane but also a work of art. Its sleek lines and elegant design were a testament to his engineering prowess and aesthetic sensibility. And so, the Spitfire began to take shape. Through countless hours of design, testing, and refinement, Mitchell and his team brought the Spitfire to life. It became a symbol of hope and resilience, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring legacy of R.J. Mitchell. The Spitfire is a beautiful plane, but it's also a masterpiece of engineering thanks to its elliptical wing. This unique feature with its smooth curves is not just for looks, it's a testament to Mitchell's understanding of how air flows around objects. The elliptical wing had important advantages, its shape reduced air resistance, making the Spitfire faster. This was vital in air combat, where speed could mean life or death. The wing also provided space for important parts the landing gear, guns, hydraulic systems, and radiators. But the elliptical wing was difficult to build in the 1940s. Traditional methods wouldn't work. New techniques had to be invented. Skilled workers carefully shaped each wing section. It took a lot of time and effort, but the results were worth it. The elliptical wing became a key feature of the Spitfire, a symbol of its grace and power. The elliptical wing gave the Spitfire its grace, a design that was both aesthetically pleasing and aerodynamically efficient. This unique shape allowed the aircraft to achieve remarkable agility and speed, making it a formidable opponent in the skies. The Spitfire's wing design was a marvel of engineering, contributing to its legendary status among fighter planes, but the engine gave it power. The heart of the Spitfire was the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, a powerhouse that transformed the aircraft from a graceful bird into a deadly predator. This engine was not just a component, it was the soul of the Spitfire, providing the thrust and speed needed to outmaneuver enemies and dominate the skies. The Rolls-Royce Merlin engine was at the heart of this magnificent machine. It was a marvel of engineering, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of excellence. The Merlin engine was meticulously crafted with each part designed to work in perfect harmony, delivering unparalleled performance and reliability. This engine was a work of art. Every component from the pistons to the supercharger was designed with precision and care. The Merlin engine was not just about raw power, it was about efficiency, reliability, and the ability to perform under the most demanding conditions. It was a masterpiece of mechanical engineering. The Merlin was powerful and efficient. It could produce a tremendous amount of power from its relatively small size, thanks to its innovative design and advanced engineering. This engine was a game-changer, giving the Spitfire the edge it needed to dominate the skies during World War II. It produced a lot of power from its relatively small size thanks to its clever design. The Merlin engine was a marvel of compact engineering, packing a punch that belied its size. This efficiency was crucial in an aircraft where every ounce of weight mattered, allowing the Spitfire to maintain its agility and speed. The engine's supercharger, which compressed the air going into the engine, helped it stay powerful even high in the sky. This innovation allowed the Merlin to maintain its performance at high altitudes, where the air is thinner and engines typically lose power. 
The supercharger was a key component in the Merlin's design, ensuring that the Spitfire could engage enemies at any altitude. The Merlin was constantly being improved. Engineers and mechanics worked tirelessly to refine and enhance the engine, pushing the boundaries of what was possible. This relentless pursuit of perfection ensured that the Spitfire remained at the cutting edge of aviation technology throughout the war. Engineers always looked for ways to make it more powerful. They experimented with new materials, designs, and technologies, always seeking to extract more performance from the Merlin. This dedication to innovation was a key factor in the Spitfire's success, allowing it to stay ahead of its adversaries. One problem they faced was keeping the engine running during negative G maneuvers. These maneuvers, essential for dogfighting, could cause the engine to stall by disrupting the fuel flow. This was a significant challenge, as a stalled engine in the heat of battle could be catastrophic. Gravity could stop fuel from reaching the engine, causing a dangerous loss of power. This issue was a major concern for pilots, as it could leave them vulnerable during critical moments in combat. Finding a solution to this problem was essential for the Spitfire's effectiveness. Beatrice Schilling, a brilliant engineer, found a solution a fuel flow restrictor. Her innovation was simple yet effective, ensuring that the Merlin engine could maintain a steady flow of fuel, even during the most extreme maneuvers. Schilling's contribution was a game-changer, enhancing the Spitfire's performance and reliability. This simple device, called Miss Schilling's Orifice, solved the problem making sure the Merlin always had power. It was a small, unassuming component, but its impact was profound. Thanks to Schilling's ingenuity, the Spitfire could perform complex maneuvers without the risk of engine failure, giving pilots the confidence they needed in battle. The Rolls-Royce Merlin, with its distinctive sound and dependability, became a key part of the Spitfire's success. Its roar was a symbol of power and resilience, a sound that struck fear into the hearts of enemies. The Merlin engine was more than just a piece of machinery, it was a legend, a testament to the brilliance of its creators and the bravery of the pilots who flew with it. The skies over southern England filled with the sounds of battle. The Battle of Britain, a crucial moment in World War II, was raging, and the Supermarine Spitfire became a legend. The Spitfire, with its speed, agility, and firepower, was a powerful weapon. Its elliptical wing helped it turn faster than the German Messerschmitt Bf 109, the Luftwaffe's main fighter. Skilled RAF pilots flew the Spitfire with expertise, its eight machine guns firing relentlessly. The Spitfire's tight turning wasn't its only advantage, it was also better at dogfights. The Spitfire could turn sharper and keep its speed controlling the fight. The Battle of Britain was the Spitfire's most important moment. It became a symbol of British resilience and engineering. Against the odds, the Spitfire helped win the battle, protecting Britain's skies and leading the way to victory.